Welcome to Cheap Controls. We make videos on things that we struggled with, hoping to help you so you don't. Consider subscribing and hitting that bell. In this video I'm going to go over how to make a change on an item on an action display that isn't currently on the page that you're viewing. And in that we'll have to get into global versus local attributes, the battle royale. I'm going to start from scratch. On page zero I'm going to add a button and a text box. The button we're going to go between what we're going to call page one and page two. It just On the event we're going to go to page one. We're going to add a page now. On the second page we're going to add some more stuff so we have something to pull to put in the text box on page one. We're going to add a text. We're going to add a button to submit and a button to go back to page one. And then we're going to have a slider just so we can have something that will collect data. And what we're going to do is we're going to display in here what we're going to push to page one. We'll call this one submit. When we click it we're going to take the value of the slider and we're going to display it in this text box and then in this one we're on this button we're going to go to page one for this we're going to go ahead and we're going to convert this value to this text whenever we click it so it's h0 dot val comma T0 dot text. If you put zero at the end, it will put the correct format in the text box. I have a video and I'll put a link to it somewhere in the display about now if you want to go to that video. I'm going to go ahead and debug this and see if it works. So now if we go to page two, this one should go back to page one. I didn't get the text in that right, I'll make that change. And we'll adjust this up and we'll go submit and we've got it. Also what you notice is when we come back to page two the slider is back in the middle. See if I adjust it and I go to page one and I come back it's in the middle. So what what happens when you go to the new page that other page is completely erased and when you go back to it it's as if you were never there and it's it's functioning for the first time. We have to make a change to this slider so that it holds the value. When you click on the slider you'll get the attributes. You look at the vscope here and change it to global. When it's set to local it only retains the value on this page. When it's set to global it stores that value from page when you click off the page and come back to the page. We'll go ahead and debug it again. Go to page two, move it up here. See, we got that. Now, when we go back to this page and come back to here, you can see that the value held, but you can see that the new text didn't hold. And that's because we left that as a local instead of a global. We're going to leave it that way for now and start working on this text on page one. So on the submit, what you would do, we'll just copy this down here. If you go to page zero, it's T0 is the same as on page one T0. The way that you would go to it is you would add page zero dot T0. So now if we go and compile it, you're going to see that we get an error though. And that's because this page cannot see page 1's T0 unless we make it global. So we have to go over here and make it global also, just like we did the slider. Now we compile and it makes it. So we'll go ahead and debug again. Go to page 2, adjust the slider, hit submit. Now when we go back to the page it will say 92. 
it does. On the submit, we're going to add one more command, and we're just going to print CC for cheap controls. We're just going to send that to it. So when the Arduino gets the CC, it'll send something. Now we'll go back to page one. And I'm going to add another text box here and two buttons. I want to be able to submit um, to the Arduino so we can see it on this page and on the other page. So we're going to change this to a submit. But I might want to reset this to make sure that we're getting the data. So I'm going to add a reset also. The reset whenever we push it is we're going to set the T1 dot text to reset. And on the submit we're just going to print CC again. So when I hit submit, nothing should happen. You can see that I sent a 6.3 and 6.3, which in string value is CC. And a reset should change that to reset. If I go to page 2, this should still work. If I hit submit, it will send a CC down here, and it will send the value to there, and that works. And if I go back here, it's all OK. Upload the code. You can see that it was successful. And now I'm going to switch over to the Arduino to do the rest of the coding in there. This is going to be a pretty simple Arduino code, but we do need to enable the serial port. I'm going to run it at 9600 baud. When the Nexion sends the data to the Arduino, we can test to see if there is serial available, which means is there anything in the buffer. And if it is, then we want to do something. What I usually do in this is I I create an empty string variable. And I call it data from display. And then I set a little delay of 30 milliseconds to make sure that the serial port has a time to collect all of the data from the nexion. And then I cycle through the data that is being sent. I take each character as it comes in and then I just add it to the data from display string. In this case I'm not doing anything with the data, but I do need to em empty the serial buffer. And after I've collected the data I want to send something out the serial port. And it's the exact same command that we used in the nexion. In this case though we're going to go to T1 instead of T0. We're going to use that other text box. Now you need the quotes around whatever you send. But using double quotes, or these quotes in here, is going to confuse the system. So you need to put in escape, which is a backslash. And that knows to send it as a quote rather than ending the, the string. And I forgot a quote. And then we have to finish it up with those a series of FFs. And you use write instead of print. And that's all you should need to make this work. So when, when the Nexion sends the CC or sends anything, it's going to go through these steps and send out the word Arduino and try and write that into that second text box on page one. Open, I have an error. Yes, I forgot a parentheses. I forgot another parentheses. Ah, now I got it. I'm sure the editor will have some comment for me. Okay, let's upload it to the Uno. It's not very clear, but we'll do some tests here and see if it works. Go to page two. Go back to page one. Okay, now if we adjust the slider and hit the submit button, that works. Let's go back to page one now. 
and that worked. Oh, I forgot to hook up the wires, otherwise the submit should have changed that new text. Now when I hit submit, we should see the new text change to Arduino. And it did. If I hit reset now, now that should stay reset as I go from page 1. And then when I go back to page 2, or, or when I go back to page 1 now, it should still say reset. And it says new text. Oh, because we did not set that up as a global variable. So I have a feeling that since it's not global, it won't work when I do the submit on page 2. Now when I go back to page 1, it did work. Hit reset again. Let's go back to page 1. Go back. New text. I go back now, hit submit, go back to page, oh, because I'm hitting submit. I'm going to go back to the Nexion code now and see what we have. Now if you look at the scope on here, what I think happened is I have the submit button and when I'm on page one and I'm hitting this new text to go back to page one I'm holding it too long and it's actually hitting the submit button so we're gonna switch these two buttons around and move them so that uh, I can't accidentally do that so submits on the same spot but when I go to page one I won't accidentally hit the other button and we're gonna go to the this one and change the vscope to global now I have to unhook the wires and upload it. Okay, and hooked back up. Now we'll go back and t now we'll test again. Go to page two. Go back to page and reset held. We'll adjust this. We'll hit submit. Go back, and it says Arduino and everything held. Now let's hit reset. Let's go to page two. Now when we go back to page one, it still should say reset, and it does. So now it works just as we expect. To recap, this video was really over this command right here, this vscope, and changing between global and local. If it's set to global, you can see that attribute on every page. If it's set to local, when you go back to when you leave the page and come back to it, it's as if it's brand new every time. Well, that's about it for this video. If you like what you saw, consider giving me a thumbs up and also consider subscribing to the channel. Thanks for watching.